Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you how to send a bulk booking reminder SMS. A booking reminder can be sent in order to remind patients of upcoming consultations or procedures. Sending appointment reminders to patients can decrease the chance of no-shows. Booking reminders can be sent in bulk in order to save time. First, let us go over how to navigate to the booking reminder SMS screen. From the diary screen, click on the navigation wheel on the navigation bar. Click on the communication segment. The switch history screen will open. Click on the CRM tab to open the build bulk email SMS screen. Finally, click on the booking reminder SMS tab to open the booking reminder SMS screen. Next, we will go over how to set up the list for the bulk booking reminder SMS. First, the user must filter the necessary bookings in the Filter Booking By section. In the Diary section, click on the Entity drop-down menu to select the relevant entity to be used. Next, click on the Diary drop-down menu to select the desired diary to filter bookings from. Additional booking type options will become available for the user to choose from. Please note that the booking type options made available are previously set up and customized to each practice. Select the booking type to filter the bookings by. In the booking date range section, the user is able to select the date from when bookings will be filtered by clicking on the start date field. A date picker will open where the user is able to select the desired start date to filter bookings from. The user is also able to click on the end date field to select the date until when bookings will be filtered. Click on the desired end date to filter bookings too. Once all desired filters have been set, click on the filter bookings button to finalize any additional filter changes. All bookings that match the filter requirements will be displayed. Now we'll go over how to send the bulk booking reminder SMS. Tick or untick the top checkbox to select or unselect all of the listed bookings. Any unticked bookings will not receive the SMS once sent. The user is also able to include or exclude individual bookings from the SMS list by ticking or unticking the relevant checkboxes. Once the list has been finalized, click on the Send Bulk SMS button. The SMS Workflow event screen will open. Click on the SMS drop-down menu and select the desired SMS template. Please note that the SMS templates must be previously set up. For more information on how to set up the SMS templates, please refer to the Workflow Event Template Setup SMS Template User Manual link in this video's description. The Contact Number field contains the placeholder text which is used to automatically import the necessary information from the system, such as the patient's cell phone number. When the Send Now checkbox is ticked, the SMS will send as soon as the Send button is clicked. However, if the user would like to schedule when the booking reminder is to be sent, untick the Send Now checkbox. Additional fields will appear. The Send Date field is used to set the date on which the SMS will be sent. Click on the Send Date field to open a date picker, allowing the user to select the desired date. The user is also able to manually type the desired date. Alternatively, click on the Today button to set the Send Date to the current date. The Send Time field is used to set the time at which the SMS will be sent on the chosen date. Click on the Send Time field to open a drop-down menu of times to select from. The user is also able to manually type the desired time. Alternatively, click on the Now button to set the Send Time to the current time. The Numbers field will contain all of the numbers selected from the filtering process. The Text field will contain the message from the previously set up template. However, the message is editable if the user requires any changes to be made. Please note that any permanent changes can only be made to the text field in the SMS template setup settings. If the user does not wish to send the SMS, click on the close button. An attention pop-up will appear if the SMS has not been sent yet. Click on the cancel button to close the pop-up and return to the SMS workflow event screen. Click on the OK button to exit the reminder SMS workflow event screen and return to the build bulk SMS screen. In order to proceed with sending the bulk reminder SMS, click on the send button. 